Hi guys, I'm Glenn Payne. Thanks for stopping by Kiki Kitchen. Today we're tackling everybody's favorite Italian dish, spaghetti and meatballs. Low carb spaghetti, you ask? Yes, queen. Because we're not making ordinary spaghetti today, we're making spaghetti squash. And while regular spaghetti can have as much as 24 grams of carbs, great tasting spaghetti squash has just five. Add a helping of protein packed meatballs and you have my famous spaghetti squash and chicken balls marinara. Bon appetito, low carbo, mwah. In this tray here I have a spaghetti squash, which I've cut in half lengthwise, de-seeded, drizzled with olive oil, salt, and pepper, placed face down on a baking sheet, and baked in 400 degrees for one hour. Spaghetti squash is actually a fruit, and it's loaded with vitamins and nutrients. After you bake it, the insides become like spaghetti strands, and since it's low in carbs and low in calories, it makes a great tasting healthy alternative to pasta. And now here in another bowl, I'm going to start to make our meatballs. Start with half a pound of ground chicken. And to this, I'm just going to add one egg, two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese, two tablespoons of panko, half an onion grated, a tablespoon of fresh parsley, three cloves of fresh garlic, a pinch of salt, a pinch of ground black pepper, and two tablespoons of water. And just mix that up in the bowl with your hands. Ooh, I think our special guest has arrived. Now our guest today is perfect because she's an actual chick who loves balls. Please help me welcome designer and Italian food lover, Jessica Straw. Whoa, hey Jess. Hi, Glenn. Hi, wow, that's quite the get up. Didn't I tell you we were gonna be cooking today? Glenn, you said the kinky kitchen that you needed a whipping and to wear spaghetti straps. Whoa, no, 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 I'm sorry. I said it's the Kiki Kitchen and we're gonna be whipping up spaghetti squash. Um, you said it again, kinky. Kiki. Kinky. Kiki. Kinky. Kiki, Jazz. Enough, Slate Boy. Make me some food, I am hungry. Whoa, okay, looks like we are gonna be getting a little kinky in the kitchen. <laughs> sorry for the misunderstanding, Jazz. We can do Call it. Call me Mistress J. Shall I serve you today, Mistress J? Serve me some balls. Now, how do people normally serve you? Balls. Hurry! I'm hungry, chicken! Alright, coming right up, Mistress J. Whoa! I don't know what it is about actual women, but they scare me! <laughs> Into the oven! Mistress J, I've got spaghetti squash and chicken balls. Thank you. Taste it, tell me what you think. Mmm, I think that it's delicious. Mmm, I like, you like how I put it right into the um, squash bowl itself? You were supposed to put it in my shoe. Uh, this way is a little bit more sanitary, mm, Mistress that's J. That's debatable. In addition to being a fierce dominatrix, I hear you also have a pretty fierce fashion line. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, it's a fashion label for women called Oh Dear Dry Goods, and we make clothes for women who want to feel sexy, but don't want to try too hard. Nice, great. Now these are actual women kids. Or drag queens, perhaps. Yeah. I have to say, you're the first chick that I've had on my, my couch and on my show. I'm really glad, because you know, at the end of the day, you are my slave. Yes, ma'am. You may eat now. And there you have it, my spaghetti squash and chicken balls. If you'd like to make this at home, of course, you can log on to the website, kikikitchen.com, for the full recipe. And if you like it, of course, give me a like. Give me a comment, because I want to hear how your balls turn out. And thank you all for coming by the Kiki Kitchen. Once again, we've cooked, we've dished, and we've served. You've served. I've served.